guess who reclaimed her love for London? It's a cold, rainy city right now, and it's very busy. But I fuck with it. It's my shit. I'm on my way to my cousin's. I just contacted her. She just called me back. I'm so glad. Picking up my suitcase. Went to the butterfly exhibit. It was really pretty. I'm gonna go grab a little cake for her real quick and then. See, I could be cordial. I could be civil. Cause she is really helpful. She helped me with the bus to the airport. She helped me with information. My dumb ass thought I had a UTI. So she helped me with the clinic. Turns out it was my period. I was like, why? I was like, why is my discharge like that? And why am I cramping? I'm on my whole period. So she is really helpful. I don't know if maybe it was being around those people and the drinking, but she did really try to help. So listen, as many times as I've forgiven other people, I'm gonna have my feelings hurt. I'm gonna take my little break and we're gonna keep pushing. But yeah, I'm on my way to get my suitcase. And yeah, I just wanna say I'm really grateful. I saw somebody helping somebody else pitch their tent. Yeah, yeah. So I'm extremely grateful. I felt really good. Like the sun was shining earlier, just it was coming down on my skin. And it felt so good. Like, man, look at me. Look at me. If I haven't said it today, please know I'm extremely grateful for the life I live. He was helping that man put up this tent with rocks. So trust that I'm grateful. I understand the position I'm in. But yeah, I'll be back. I ain't got no storage as usual. I also want to say if you use like maps or whatever, if you check it and then like put it away and just walk in that direction, be careful. Cause I just did that and then I just looked and I was going the wrong way. Why was it a 17 minute walk? And I checked and it was still 17 minutes. <laughs> so sometimes like, you know how it tells you the direction to go. Sometimes it wouldn't have readjusted right away. So you'll walk in that direction and it's not right. I was walking that way. <sighs> anyway, it's me in London. This is what the house will be looking like sometimes. I mean, I film the neighbors. I might be in the hood. I don't even know it. It just looks elegant, but yeah, I'm walking this way now. It's pretty safe, pretty quiet, broad daylight. Again, I don't know what neighborhood this is, but it seems fine. Yeah, I don't know why I was walking <laughs> with confidence. And then I was like, let me check real quick. Oh, so I'm getting thick again. I peeped earlier, I'm getting thick. I like that. All this damn walking, I'm starting to eat a little more. <sighs> Not just snacks, actual food. But I'll talk to y'all. I ain't got no stories to be talking. I'm gonna head back to laundry. It's free, apparently. All I need is detergent. So I will stop back at the store, get my little meal deal, get some detergent, get some water. And I don't think I have the room to myself. The other guy's in there who was like, hey, are you the one who gets freaked out when people in the hostel enter the room? And I was like, yeah, that's me. I think he's there, but the other people checked out. I'm so happy. Look at this. Hey, son. Damn cute. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all. It's a 20 minute walk because I didn't want to take the bus. And it's a little chilly out here, but I got used to it. Anyways, I love sharing with y'all, okay? And I hope y'all don't think I don't pay myself to always be in a good light or be the hero, but I just realized I come across, I've, I've had it for years. I come across people who really want to mess with me. And I've gotten to a place where I'm able to identify that and dismiss it so much faster. And I'll admit, there was a petty part of me that wanted to show back up to the cafe looking real good, real cute. After visiting my like, it's technically nine, but we won't say 10 because I was supposed to go to Amsterdam and then London, but I had to switch it because the place I want to go to in Amsterdam was booked. So I'll show you that later. But I just, there was a part of me that wanted to show up real cute after visiting my 10 cities in a month and pop up at the cafe. Like, yeah, y'all still piss me off. And I'm still cute and I'm still thriving. And yeah, I'm still out here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, just being able to live my nomadic life. And I realized, I was like, I don't have anything to prove. I really don't care. Like, the way I show up, I be looking busted. I'm very comfortable with myself. I had just posted some reels. I stopped at King's Cross, I posted some reels. And I was talking about how, like, black women, unfortunately, people are, oh, you look like a man, or oh, you look masculine, like, and I was like, I'm not even gonna start to unpack that because that comes from a deep-rooted hate of trying to take away somebody's beauty, femininity, all this stuff, anything to tear them down. And it's funny because the girls at the cafe have said that too, or somebody, somebody here, a friend, a friend of a friend, oh, she looked like a man. But there was a part of me who wanted to show up like, still thriving, I don't care. I just really genuinely do not care. I realized that, I was like, oh, 
yeah no i'm good so i'm gonna get my suitcase get my cousin her little slice of cake and keep it going i think we were here i recognize this corner we we're gonna go party and this like random guy on the street was trying to help us up and my cousin and her friends were like no don't touch the homeless people What's me? yikes I have no business around people or in places that don't make me feel good. And the girl I met at the other hostel in Paris was talking about that. She was talking about how she has two stalkers that were friends, actually. And they started mistreating her and power control and all this stuff. The same kind of stories I'd be telling y'all. And she's like, you know, I just learned remove yourself, remove yourself, remove yourself.